Hi, my name is Finavar and I'd like to introduce you to a really cool product which is now at, uh, available at Michael's stores. These are called Art Alchemy Waxes and what is great about waxes, they are perfect finishing products. If you like this beautiful metallic shine on the top of your project, this is going to be the perfect choice. They are um, really cool to use because they smell in a beautiful way. They are really creamy, they have beautiful consistency and they are really user friendly. Art Alchemy Wax is in a way a cousin of the furniture wax, which means they are um, going to dry in a permanent finish, which means you don't need to seal them in with anything, you just let them dry naturally and they get hard and really beautiful. Uh, they come in three finishes. One is called Antique Brilliance, which means it has brown undertone and beautiful shimmer. Metallic, which is full covering metallic color. And Opal Magic, which is transparent with iridescent finish. Um, Art Alchemy waxes are synthetic wax uh, and they are going to really last for a long time. If you open the tin, you will see the colors are different. The Antique Brilliance line, it has dark brown background and when you open sometimes you will see this brown separation on the top of your product. You can see um, it's almost like water drops on the top. This is in fact um, melted wax. If it's going to be very cold it's going to turn into like the um, brown consistency uh, wax on the top. Metallic waxes give you the full covering metallic effect and um, if you would like to use them you can both use them with your fingers or with brushes to get a really cool effect. You can see some of the separation happening in the wax but it is not a problem. This is um, not uh, any factor that you should be worried about. This is natural process of the wax which gets warmer and colder and finally uh, it creates some cool looking effects that you should just mix in with your finger or your brush and just use the product uh, to create beautiful art. Opal Magic is the one which is the most confusing because you can't really see the color when you open the tin. Most of the times it looks just pearls and white but if you apply it on the darker surface you are going to see the full electric beauty of this color. It's really rewarding and I hope you're going to try them out because they're one of the most um, cool effects that I have in my range. This is uh, just a little plaster heart painted with black gesso and then to compare the white ones. So I'm going to put a bit of the wax on this heart and it's going to be just very delicate pearl effect. But now using the same wax here you're going to get very visible shiny effect. Finally Antique Brilliance waxes. These ones are different because the wax base of the product is brown, so um, you are going to get antiquing effect on the lighter surfaces. For example, this is how I decorated this old box. Uh, it's just white gesso on the top of the old plastic box and then uh, amethyst magic wax brushed on the top and then removed. 
but on the darker surfaces you're going to see the shimmer that is one of the main ingredients of the wax. You can see the brown wax separation. This is absolutely natural process and it's going to happen. It all depends on the temperature, the storage, and you don't have to be worried that maybe there's something wrong. This is not part of a natural process. I'm going to use, eh, maybe. You can see the antiquing effect on white surface. This is plaster element I made in one of the molds. And this is the result you can get using antique brilliance wax on a lighter surface. Now, using the same wax on the darker one gives you absolutely different result. You can't see the brown antique wax, you can only see beautiful shimmer. So, in fact, you've got two effects in one pot of the wax. It's a very, very good deal, and the results are simply beautiful.